and we are here. Hey, hi guys. I am B, and welcome to B Board Games, the channel where this video almost didn't happen <laughs> because my laptop. It was. I don't know what it was doing, but she wasn't trying to cooperate today. She was like, we're not going to film. We're not filming today, babes. But I, I, I forced restarted her. I held the pillow down. And, um, yes. So, we're back with episode four or five. One of those of Under Maintenance. Hey, we're playing Under Maintenance. And we are on... Uh, we, we are on chapter four of Theo's route, which means there's only one chapter after this and then we're done. But, you know, we probably won't get to that until next week because I will not even be in town for the rest of this week. <laughs> but yeah, so let's get started. Let's get into it. You know, just play the game. <laughs> next Tuesday comes quicker than I realize, really. <laughs> that couch does not look comfortable we have like we had one we actually gave it away that looked like this and if it's like the recliner one I think it is it, it's not comfy babe anyway like a giddy school girl I have a hard time staying in bed looking forward to my date with Theo I make sure my hair is washed and cleaned my makeup is perfect and my outfit is cute hey there <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I know he's not saying it like that, but if you add any extra eyes to a hi, I am automatically reading it like hi. Oh my god, hi. Looking forward to tonight. Sim here. This is hard swiping. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my goodness, that is way too precious. You get used to it. I can teach you tonight. Wink. She loved that winky emoji. Oh my gosh. This game's confetti emoji is trans. <laughs> That's so- I love it, even if that wasn't intentional. My phone starts ringing right around our arranged meeting time. Hey. hey, Dahlia. I'm at your apartment building and the door is locked. Yeah, that is how apartments do. Hey, I'll be down in a second to let you in. That is how they do. I rush down the stairs and open the apartment complex door, panting, only to find Theo crouched down and playing with a cat. Why is it a cat? We know this cat. This is our friend. The cat. <laughs> <laughs> now roll over. Babes, he's a cat. <laughs> I think that's what you say to a dog. Yeah, but I mean, maybe you can train a cat too. Yep, see? You can train a cat. <laughs> Just as I say it, the cat drops to the pavement and rolls over. This cat belongs to somebody, or it is omniscient. Is it- <laughs> is it in protest to me, or to answer Theo's request? Oh, 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 okay. I inflected that wrong. Is it in protest to me, or to answer Theo's request? Like, what's going on, cat? <laughs> or to a cat, too, I guess. Hey. Hey, Dahlia. Hi. Oh. <laughs> ah. I give him a flirty look. I can't. It's so crazy how I love to play visual novels, because I'd be cringing. <laughs> I can't take it. Hey, want to come in or stay outside playing with the kitty? Okay, okay, I'm coming. Bye, kitty. Bye, cat. Oh my god, bye. Bye. I'm on floor seven. <laughs> Do, I Do I put this down in my serial killer notebook? Oh man. You're never letting that go, are you? I wouldn't. <laughs> Not until you give me a funnier joke. <laughs> I hate it here. We arrive on my floor and I usher Theo into my studio apartment. Mm -hmm. I really like this place. Mm -mm -mm. It looks very much like you. Does it? Hmm. Well, okay. I was gonna say I think it's quite plain, but she might be quite plain. <laughs> hey, what's that supposed to mean? 
Theo pats my head, pats my head and kisses my forehead. I can't read. <laughs> I meant that in a good way. It's cozy. Oh, speaking of cozy, I grab the hoodie from my bed and give it back to him. Sorry, I forgot about this last Tuesday. No worries, I'll set this down for now and forget it again because really it just belongs to you now. <laughs> oh, do you want me to drink? Like, Something non-alcoholic. I'm driving. Period. <sighs> so now I wish I hadn't. The parking situation in your neighborhood is atrocious. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. You know, you could just stay here for the night. Um... Moving on. Help! That's so embarrassing. If you've got anything sweet, that would be amazing. Help me. Oh my god. I stare at him playfully. Oh, I'm sweet. <laughs> Dahlia. I can't even speak. Dahlia. I know, I know. One ice cold lemonade coming up. As I grab the drinks for both of us, I think about Theo's previous project that he mentioned last week. How's that old car project going? It's going good. We're getting some new parts shipped in soon, so we should be getting a move on the progress. Oh, slay. I'm glad to hear that. Have your siblings come to visit recently? My kid sister came by over the weekend, and we got some orders in on a foreign site. It was a real pain, though. I can imagine. I bring our drinks and set them on the coffee table. Well, what about you? You told me you'd show me what you do for fun. Oh my god. Did I? <laughs> That's gonna be crazy. I point towards the shelf of games. Well, what about you? You told me- oh my god, did it go backwards? Help me! <laughs> I point toward the shelf of games. <laughs> Theo approaches it and starts randomly pulling out boxes, and you better put them back where you found them, bitch. <laughs> Hate when people take stuff out and just don't put it back the way it was. Wow. These are some seriously pretty guys. Are these the husbandos you were talking about? I want to stop being confronted with that word. Who actually says it? I'm sure some people do, but like, why? God. I flush at him mimicking my speech weeks ago and snatch the box out of his hands. Hey, don't judge. <laughs> I'm not judging, just curious. It's not, um, it's not about pretty guys. Well, it partially is, but it's also about good stories and emotions and sometimes some gambling to get a pretty picture. Think of it as reading interactive romance books with pretty pictures. Do you remember reading books as a kid and thinking, hey, it would be really cool to influence what happens? Yeah, I was always bummed out when things didn't go as I wanted them to. Well, check this out, bestie. <laughs> this allows me to choose exactly how the story will go and explore all the possible endings. Theo nods understandingly. Hmm? So, which one is under maintenance? <gasps> That's the title! <laughs> oh my god, they said the thing! Ah, uh, well, that's... I go up to him and load Heavenly Love on my phone. <laughs> Help me. Is this still under maintenance? Hasn't it been like 10,000 years? Is the game still under maintenance? I just realized that. It's been weeks. I point out the love interest in my favorite husbando, and I realize he kind of resembles Theo. Oh man. Cringe. Hey. He kind of looks like me. That's crazy. Throw the phone out the window, girl. This is embarrassing. <laughs> I think I have a type. Hey. Why does it keep going backwards? I'm gonna commit a crime. I think I have a- <laughs> I think I have a type. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So what kind of character is he? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why? Why did it have to be an exact character of the love interest? I hate that. I- oh. Uh, he's the older brother type. Huh? Oh my god. No. <laughs> I couldn't even read it. It was so absurd. Theo's question catches me off guard, so I lower the phone while I consider it. 
like no not blood related but more like he teases and treats the main character like a sister but he really has feelings for her oh so you do you see me as an older brother type uh, no um my tongue was down your throat a couple weeks ago <laughs> Mm, not really. You're caring to those around you, but I've never felt like you treated me that way. It's hard to pin you as a trope, after all. It's a trope. They're stereotypes, babe. That's good. I don't know how I'd feel if I could be described with two-dimensional terms. Yeah. So, what makes this one different than the ones on your shelf? It runs on a server, and it's something a lot of people play together instead of everyone playing their own game. So when there are updates, they need to stop everyone's games to roll them out. Uh, okay. Huh? I'm not sure I completely follow. Okay, wait, pause. Personally, I hate server-based games. Promise of Lingyun, the story in it is so good. It's so good. Oh my god, the stories are so good. And the art is so good. But because it's on a server, and they make everything built around competition and outranking people and all of that, it's not fun to play. It ruined the fun. I hate server-based games. I love playing by myself. <laughs> the, the most you're going to get out of me in a multiplayer, in the uh, idea of multiplayer, is doing stuff like this. Playing games by myself and then putting them on the internet. Because I can't. I hate it. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure I completely follow. Me either, bestie. <laughs> well, think of it like this. For a car to work properly, you have to change the oil every now and then. So for this game, the updates are like changing the oil. Good metaphor, babe. Really got on his level. But it happens to everyone at the same time, because everyone is driving the same car. Theo nods in agreement. I think my clunky car metaphor worked. Oh, like with fancy new cars. Yes, when you have to update the Tesla because the charging port explodes with the wrong software. <laughs> Everything's, <laughs> Everything's like electronic. Oh, he's reading. And they require regular <coughs> software updates. And if you don't do that, there can come a time when you can't drive them. Yes, exactly, girl. Except in this case, Please you're stop. updating has Please stop. been those. Please stop. Stop saying it. You feel how clunky it is on your tongue? Don't do it anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. He continues inspecting my shelves. His face seems to light up when he finds one game in particular. Oh my god, what game is it? Hey, is this that plumber racing game? I remember playing it on 64 with my brother. Oh my god, it's Mario. He used to play games? Why is that unbelievable? I'm pretty sure almost every kid used to play games. Not every single one, because you know, different circumstances, but like the majority? That's like a normal thing, babe. That's like a kid pastime. <laughs> <laughs> way back in the day we used to have one of those consoles set up by our living room tv and my brothers and i fought about who would play next and what yes literally cornerstones of childhood for a lot of people i feel like the mc she just be she, she lives in her own world in her brain all of her experiences are unique <clears throat> i hate it that was before I decided I was too cool to hang out with my siblings and started playing drums instead. You mentioned playing drums before. Do you still play? Well, I do, I think. I still have a set in my basement, but back in the day, I was still so into it. I missed classes. Jesus. Why'd you stop? I dropped out of the band once I started working in my dad's company. I still pick up drumsticks from time to time. But it's kind of not the same without the promise of the big stage and fame. Give him a taste of his own medicine. What's that mean? Quick save. I'm gonna try it out. You know that it's okay to have artistic pursuits without them bringing you anything, right? Oh yeah, because when she was talking about photography, he was like, <laughs> you know, it's yeah, okay, I got it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can still continue doing things just because they make you happy. That's what hobbies are all about. They're not about fame or money, but about doing something you enjoy. Somebody told me that, like last week. <laughs> In fact, I'm pretty sure you told me that, remember? Theo shifts his gaze at my comment. <laughs> 
<laughs> I did say something like that, yeah. I thought how money makes the world go round. But I started considering other avenues of enjoyment after our conversation. Like, I play games, and I take photos wherever I go. Actually, when was the last time I took a picture? Me when I lie. <laughs> you mentioned photography before, and that it's been a while. Yes. Why are we talking in circles? Hmm? Maybe you could show me some of your photos. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have any here. Dang, where are they? <laughs> it's been that long? Or you don't keep sentimental stuff? Now that I think about it, Theo asked me about passion projects before. Of course, photography is something I thoroughly enjoy, but because I had gone off to do adult things, it's been forever. Damn. I should really take my own advice, but enough wallowing in self-pity. Dahlia? Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe we should learn to take the advice we spout. Now, let's get into our hobbies, bestie. <laughs> I think you're right. After our conversation, I wave the game Theo has put in my hands and then offer him a smile. Let's see whether it's as good 20 years later? Oh my god, 20 years. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I pop in the cartridge and pick up a controller. I rotate it so that Theo gets an easier view on the buttons I'm pointing at. You press these to move. This will speed up. This will slow down. This is the one that throw things in my way. And that should be it. I press the controller in his hands and we sit down on the floor and start up the game. Yes, floor superiority, because we know that chair is trash. It's disastrous. <laughs> Theo seems to be going the wrong way consistently, and he can't speed up or throw things properly. <laughs> I've finished several rounds ahead of him. Seriously, this is no fun. Help. Oh my god, you could make it fun. You could start trash talking him and being like, you know, like, make it good out of the bad. Anyway. Theo's face is fallen and his fingers are going white while gripping the controller. Oh my god, calm down, Theo. The controller he's holding is exactly the way I had when I showed him the controls. Is he holding the controller upside down? Oh my god, Theo. <laughs> I gotta clown you, my boy. You are holding that wrong. You're holding the controller wrong. I pointed mine and rotate it to his position and then back to the right one again. Um. Oh, sorry. The lack of a wire got me confused. Jesus, Theo. Jesus Christ. I mean, it should still have the place where your hands grip. Like, that always goes down so it could be in your hands, no? Oh my god. Because that's clearly... Uh, whatchamacallit. I forgot what it's called. I know what it is. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's my fault. I showed you this way. He rotates the controller, and then we can actually enjoy. Can we go another round? Yes, please. Our next game, I win by a very close margin. The one after that, I get completely and utterly obliterated, like that one twink. <laughs> Obliterate that twink. I can't believe you told me you don't play video games. Are you sure you haven't played this before? Girl, he won one round. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> After losing spectacularly, I said I played something like it with my brother back in the day. Lots of missed homework and housework. Guess it's like fixing a bike. You never forget how. That's not the phrase. That's not the phrase. Not everybody knows how to fix a bike. <laughs> Isn't it supposed to be riding a bike? Nah, it's fixing it in my family. Dad hasn't been able to ride a bike ever since he first got sick, but he can still blare commands about how to oil the chain or straighten spokes. Anyhow, want a rematch? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, I do, man. I'm gonna obliterate you. Oh. I was like, is something wrong? It was just they were giving us like a time skippy pause. After several games back and forth, we sit back exhausted. Yes. Hmm. So, what's next on the agenda for this evening? Uh, I'm feeling mentally spent, so I was thinking... I raise my eyebrows playfully. Make out time? <laughs> Make out time. While Theo shrugs his shoulders and nods, I climb on top of his lap, straddling him with my legs. Emails. <laughs> Theo gently pushes my hair back and cuffs my cheek, seemingly considering something. Then he crushes his lips against mine. That gentleness subtly gone. Oh, we're in it. 
we're in it um yeah okay <laughs> our tongues go from wrestling to caressing and back as i snake my hands around his head and he plants his firmly on my hips his lips travel from my face to my neck to my collarbone seemingly looking for a spot that makes me gasp the most god it is so hard being ace <laughs> an, an ace uh, g romance games enjoyer because I really got to sit through this I don't have to but you know you know it's just mildly cringe for me I lean into his body and hold on to his shoulders as Theo's hand drags itself slowly almost lazily down my arms and across my back his other hand is slowly tracing a line on the outside of my thigh sending shivers down my spine <clears throat> and then queen plays in the background <laughs> <clears throat> so we're doing this oh my god girl we're doing this <laughs> i lean into his ear and whisper seductively disclaimer immediately i will not be doing a seductive voice if anything i will clown but who knows? We'll see what happens when I get to it. <laughs> Want to take this up from the floor to the bed? Ew. <laughs> it's just too many words. It was clunky to me, but okay. To my disappointment, Theo pulls back and shakes his head. Jesus Christ. Help me, <laughs> Theo. I don't think so. Help. <laughs> Again? Seriously? This is so funny. I climb off of him and put my hands on my hips. Is it... What the hell's wrong with you? Is it me? Are you like in some sort of cult? Mm. Mm. I'm gonna be a clown. <laughs> are, are you like in some sort of cult? What's going on? Are you like in some sort of cult? Theo stares at me for a second with a completely baffled face. <laughs> a cult that's a new one <laughs> he wipes at his eyes it's nothing as sinister as that I've just been burnt way too many times to just go at it without the thought of consequences period bestie you know that there are precautions you can take right <laughs> what no that's important sure but I'm talking about catching feelings instead I don't want for that to happen if this isn't going anywhere you think this isn't going anywhere? Never said that. I like you, but honestly, I don't know whether you like me back. Okay, um, if there was a weird pause in there, that's because somebody came upstairs really loud on the phone all of a sudden, and it got weird. Like, it startled me, so then I paused and forgot to pause the actual <laughs> recording but uh yeah we're back i think hold on uh, gotta get back into it if i didn't like you i wouldn't be making out with you right now period duh i don't <laughs> that's not what i meant well not entirely what i mean is do you see this going somewhere beyond wanting to make out with me? It's all fresh. How would I know? Exactly. That's what he's worried about, babe. <laughs> Aren't you 30? <laughs> she, uh, she has, like, so little emotional maturity. It's crazy. Exactly. Have a thought about it and tell me whether you want something once you're ready. I'll do the same. If you do, great. We'll give it a whirl and see where it goes. I'd love that. But if not, also great. At least we could stop wasting each other's time. Theo lies down on my floor and stares into the ceiling before starting to talk silently. I've got... attachment issues. <laughs> Thanks for being honest about it, Bestie. Truly thank you. I lay down next to him and try to find the exact spot he's staring at. There are quite a few to choose from. Damn, my cheap ass landlord. <laughs> Growing up, there's always been a fairy tale in front of my eyes. My parents met at school, married at 19, 35 years. 
five kids and one fucked up illness later, he still calls her beautiful and she still lovingly calls him loony for saying that. <sighs> My siblings are continuing the tradition. <laughs> Did you know I'm the oldest of five and a half of them? And half of them are already happily married? That's a lot of siblings, my ba- my dude. My guy, what the- And all of that has clicked some old school switch in my brain. Oh yeah? On God? If I do the deed, as they say, I start expecting things. Not the I start deed. imagining things. <laughs> yeah, I get it. And if that person is gone the next morning, it tears me apart. Oh man. Sorry so to hear that, So a couple bestie. of years ago, I decided that it's not worth it. And you swore off love. <laughs> I'd only sleep with people with whom I'd like to try to imagine some sort of future together. Okay. I don't even know what the future would entail. Sometimes you just gotta let chance happen. Otherwise, why are we alive? I love playing the role of the cool uncle, and it's not like I can wear a wedding ring at my work anyhow, but having someone to come home to would be enough. That's nice and dandy, but why didn't you say so? Yeah, honestly. I feel like everyone needed to be honest with each other from the beginning. <laughs> huh? I'm sorry. You've got boundaries, and that's great. I respect that, but how are people supposed to know them if you don't tell them? Exactly, girl. <laughs> Theo looks at me with surprised eyes as I continue. This isn't a fairy tale. The person you're with won't magically know all of your inner thoughts, so you have to communicate, Theo. Aren't you 30? These 30-year-olds, man. Getting on me nerve. <laughs> You've got to tell them. Sure, people who have been together for years have their unspoken forms of communication, but that thing comes with time. And <laughs> with a lot of talking. I kept getting mixed signals here. One moment you're kissing me, the next you're making me feel like I just did something unspeakable. And I've got no idea about why. Yeah, Theo, that's fucked up. Theo runs a shaky hand through his hair. It's okay, you don't have to shake. Fuck. I've been a real dick to you, haven't I? Uh, yeah, but honestly, so have I. Like, I've been, like, just expecting things and getting mad at you for leaving me, for making me, uh, leave your house when we just met. So yeah, we've both been dicks. <laughs> you have. Now that you've told me, I realize I've been the same to you. Communication is so important. We're 30. <laughs> I'm sorry. But now the question is, where do we go from here? We lay next to one another in silence. I never thought the floor could be so comfortable. Maybe I should look into getting a futon instead of the creaky bed I have. Yes, yeah, girl, do it. Because um. that bed looks terrible. <laughs> Maybe getting to know each other a little more? Yeah, I think that would be good. I think that would be a very good step to take. I'd like that. After a while, I reach my hand over and entwine my fingers with his. Neither of us say anything, but I get the feeling that we've just gotten over a huge hurdle. I want to tell him how much I'd love to be there for him, to figure out a way to make this thing work. And if that means taking it slow, then I'm okay with that. I just want to know more about him. After a yawn escapes from Theo's lips, he lets go of my hand and gets up. Where you going? <laughs> I've got work in the morning. I know we're both busy, but maybe we can keep in closer touch on the phone. Do more of that talking you were speaking about earlier. Oh, period, girl. Let's talk every night. Yes. <laughs> I would love that. It's only after he leaves that I find his hoodie still neatly folded on my couch. Like I said, that's yours, girly pop. A text comes through my phone. Keep the hoodie. It looks way better on you anyway. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Uh, I was getting ready to save the chapter card. After Theo leaves, I immediately open up my phone to message Alana. Oh my god, duh. We cannot end the chapter without texting the bestie. I might be in love. <laughs> Dahlia! Hello? You know I support you 100%, right? But, watch out. You can't get all doe-eyed because a handsome man sweeps you off your feet. Why not? 
<laughs> You're the last person I want to hear that from. Uh-huh, get her. Okay, fair. For real, keep me updated. If he's got you like this, then he must be special. You know I'll keep you updated. Period. Alright. Yes. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Main menu. Okay. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna end it there for this one. Ooh, right on 30 minutes. Except we're gonna go over because I'm still talking. Um, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm pretty sure next episode will be the last one, but I won't be getting to filming it until Sunday because I'm gonna be out of town um, for this week. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be out of town, so I won't be able to film, won't be able to upload, and so we won't be finishing under maintenance until next week. But I really look forward to it, you know? This is a cute little game, even though it makes me cringe to hell and back. Ugh. Oh look, I didn't even notice that he was a little chest tattoo. He has a little chest tattoo. Okay, but yeah, so I guess I will see you guys next Monday with the last episode of Under Maintenance. And after that, who knows? Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment, or don't because I'm just here to hang out. And I will see ya. Bye!